How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I wanted to bring you along with me to discuss a little bit of having a not so touristy town as your hometown and the pros and cons for a creative. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so let's talk about some pros. The first thing that I want to cover is it challenges you as a creator to live in a not so touristy town. It makes you kind of look for more appealing things for people in your own town itself to get that creative juices kind of going. So I think that's a very cool little challenge that it provides living in a very small town or not as fancy touristy town itself. So for example, like using the main attractions of your town and finding a way to capture it where like not many people see it all the time, I think it's something very cool to have so that you can just essentially capture that essence of your town in a way that not many people get to. So that, that's a cool positive to have because it gets you to get that creative side of you. So obviously I live in the Woodlands, Texas. We have a man-made lake called the Woodlands. So I've done a couple photos with my drone and everything in between. So it's a pretty cool place where I'm at. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the typical scenery that you have here where you have a lot more where people come and walk. So that's something very important to have as well. So a little bit of the Woodlands. It's not the most touristy town ever, but it's not the most boring town either. Obviously with the man-made lake that we have here and the scenery that we've been walking across and everything. Um, it gets a little bit nicer, but the thing is there's a lot of office buildings, so not really as beautiful as you want. Obviously if you go farther out you get to see a lot of the houses and really big mansions and you can go kayaking and you can go paddle boarding and all that kind of stuff. So it makes it nicer, but also obviously it'd be nicer if there was like more scenery, whether it's like mountains with like the water or just not building so you gotta make the best of what you can and you know just get creative with it that's what helps out to be in a small like not so touristy town you know gotta get creative with it so another pro is that not being in a touristy town and everything like that is you don't have that many visitors or people around you depending on the time of day that you go out and shoot you can really be not bothered by many people in the touristy sections of your town and you can get creative with it. So that's one thing that I do enjoy about that because as much as I love being around people, I really do not. I like to just kind of have my time and comfort to be able to film and take my time with what I want to do to just get creative as much as I want to. So that's a big pro in my section when it comes down to living in a not so touristy town. A great pro for living in a non-touristy town is that you can really explore every bit of your town to find the best spots available to create some great photos. You're able to explore every inch of the city to find some hidden gems where you can get creative for your shoots and use these locations for your advantage. Since you live there, you have the upper hand to really explore all around you to find the locations that can make eye-catching photos in your hometown. You'll be able to create cool content for yourself without the worries of having too many people around you to disturb your focus, all in the comfort of your hometown, where you can come back anytime you want to to keep further exploring and find the best locations for yourself. talk about the cons of living in a not so touristy town for a creator first things first sadly it gets repetitive I mean you're only so much able to explore your own little town that it just gets repetitive and that's when you get kind of dull in your creativity 
so with that said, it's kind of hard to find inspiration when you've kind of seen it all. So sometimes it's cool to, you know, like see it in fresh eyes, but at the same time, it feels like you've seen the same thing over and over that there is no inspiration and that's okay, but it's always good to push through it. And I know some days are harder than others, but you know, it is what it is. So with that said, a lot of eye-catching things in your hometown might become dull for you and that kind of blocks your creativity, which kind of sucks, and I know that. But, I mean, like I said, there are pros and cons to this, so we're just going to kind of explore a few more cons and then I'll tell you my overall thoughts. So without having that many eye-catching kind of sceneries like New York has, Banff, Toronto, all those big city have where you can just literally point and shoot and you get a cool shot because there's always something happening. You know, it draws you back with uncertainty and lack of creativity sometimes because you've seen it all in your hometown. So that's something that I think holds us back as creators in a small town that's not as touristy. But like I said, it also can be great and challenging to make you become better. And the last thing is, it's hard to find creatives in a small town or not so touristy town because there's not that many people that come to be creative here if there's not much to create with. So let me get more in depth in that one. So what I mean by that is just obviously in the touristy towns like New York and those big cities even like Austin, Texas or living in downtown Houston here where because I'm like 45 minutes away from it, you get more creatives because there's more to create with. There's more scenery for that so it's easier to connect in my opinion because you can start searching for the photographers in that area for me i found photographers relatively close to me but nobody in my immediate area where i can just go you know what i want to create with them and go out and shoot because it's it's a good friendship and beneficial for both of us instead of just having like a one-sided die where like they're like oh i want to basically use you because you have all this gear and kind of stuff like that so small town small mindset in my opinion i've lived in plenty countries and different cities to kind of see that already so that's something that is a drawback for that so now my overall thoughts is basically you know and even though you're living in a small town and not touristy place the great thing about it is that more than likely it's going to be an affordable place to live so that's always nice to have a nice place where you can live comfortably, save up your money, because then you can use that money to travel to all these nice touristy places to just enjoy it and then have fresh eyes when you go there. Obviously, being a local in some places, you know the places to be, but with the beautiful thing called the internet, you can actually access a lot of those places and look them up before your trip. And another thing is, it's always good to make the best thing out of every situation. Despite not living in the most touristy place, I know I can drive into Houston on some weekends that I want to do to make it a little bit more touristy, or if I want to drive to a different town, I can, because it allows me to do that since I live more comfortably with having less expenses than a bigger city or touristy place, so I can save up my money to use it accordingly to get more gear, go travel places that I want to be, so it's not overall that bad. And finally, basically this just makes me want to stay creative and create no matter what, even if it limits me some days that I feel drained out because I see the same things over and over. But with that said, I mean, that's what being a creator is, staying creative and figuring out and pushing through the days that you don't want to. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this helps you out. Make sure to like and subscribe, share this video with a friend, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.